fundamental unit of chemistry is the atom. Atoms are made of subatomic particles, which we're going to abbreviate SAP. Now there are three types of subatomic particles. Protons, neutrons, and electrons. Each subatomic particle is slightly different in its charge, mass, and location. Protons have a positive charge and a mass of one atomic mass unit. And they are located in the nucleus. Each neutron does not have a charge, has a zero charge, but also has a mass of one atomic mass unit and is also loca located in the nucleus. Electrons have a charge, a negative charge, but their mass is negligible, so we're going to say they have zero atomic mass units. They are located in orbitals, which circle around the nucleus. Now the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons an atom has will give it different properties. Protons define the type of atom and types of atoms are called elements. So our periodic table of elements all of these elements have different numbers of protons. Protons are also going to contribute to the charge of an atom and to the mass of an atom. Neutrons are not going to contribute to the charge, but will contribute to the mass. Electrons are not going to attribute to the mass, but will contribute to the charge. We'll get into more of that later. All right, so now we are going to get into our orbital diagrams and our skittles. Dang it, mouth. So go ahead and open your bag of skittles. and dump them all out. What I would do is really quickly sort them by color. Now, designate each of these subatomic particles to be coordinated with one of these candies. So I'm going to have the orange ones as protons, green ones as neutrons, and yellow ones as electrons. Because those are the three most abundant I have. Go ahead and eat the other two. Or save them for later. We're now going to get into diagramming different types of atoms or elements. Before we get into making diagrams of our atoms, what we're going to have to do is take a closer look at the periodic table of elements. We're going to start by looking at our first element, hydrogen. Now if we draw a bigger version of what's on the t periodic table of elements, you'll notice for hydrogen you have a big H, a number one on the top, 
and then a number below it. The H is called the atomic symbol. Most elements have an atomic symbol that is the first one or two letters of the element, but not always. The number above it is called the atomic number. The atomic number also equals the number of protons that an atom has. The number below it is the average atomic mass. For the purposes of this exercise though, we're just going to average or round down to the nearest whole number. Now actually with that information, you should be able to diagram what a hydrogen atom looks like. So go ahead, get out your orbital diagram or atomic diagram, and using these subatomic particles, go ahead and make a representation of a hydrogen atom. Remember, the protons and the neutrons go in this center portion called the nucleus, and the electrons go in these orbitals which go around the nucleus. The rule with putting electrons in the orbitals is that you must fill the lowest orbital before you go on to the next one. So go ahead and get out your diagrams and your skittles and do your best to do a hydrogen atom with an atomic weight of 1 and a charge of 0. After giving it a try, unpause the video and we'll show you how to do it. Okay, so if you remember, the atomic number of hydrogen was 1, so that means it has one proton. And so, because the proton goes in the nucleus, you're going to put one proton there. Now to determine the number of neutrons, all you have to do is take the atomic mass and subtract the number of protons. Now we have an atomic mass of 1, you subtract the atomic number, or the number of protons, and that equals zero. So that means we don't have any neutrons. Finally, to determine the number of electrons, all we're going to do is balance out the number of protons with electrons. So since we have one proton, we're going to have one neutron. And that's going to give us a net charge of zero. So if this is what you made for your hydrogen atom, then this is correct. All right, next we're going to do a helium atom, which is a little more complicated, but still simple. Then we'll get into some more complicated ones. So see if you can do a helium atom. Hit pause and then unpause and we'll show you how to do it. Helium has the atomic number of 2, so it's going to have 2 protons in its nucleus. Helium has an atomic mass of 4.026, so we're going to round that down to 4. And to determine the number of neutrons, we take the atomic mass of 4, subtract the atomic number of 2, and you get two. Now to balance this out, we're going to balance out the charge of the two protons, which would be plus two, with two electrons, which would be minus two, and there you have a helium atom. If that's what you had, you did it right. Those are the basics for how to make an atomic model using candy. If you want more information, there is a longer video which talks more about ions and isotopes and stuff. For your homework, go on, keep making more models. For example, you can boron, beryllium, carbon, and lithium. I hope you like it.